Today's video is on depth first research algorithm. So there are two algorithms for finding the spanning tree or constructing the spanning tree. And see here, first one is breadth first search algorithm. I made a video on that. Please have a look at it and definitely it will be very helpful. And in today's video, I am going to explain what is this depth first search algorithm. So this topic is from graph theory. So this algorithm helps in constructing a spanning tree. So DFSA is also known as backtracking. The procedure here is first we have to choose a vertex from the graph and designate it as a root vertex and push it into the stack. First, we have to select one vertex among all the vertices in the graph as a root vertex and we have to push it into the stack. And next one, we have to visit the adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited and push it into the stack. And third step here, which we have to take is if there is no unvisited vertex, then just pop the top element of the stack, take backtracking and again repeat step two. Repeat step two. See here, what is step two? We have to visit adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited and push it into stack until the stack is empty and that gives you a spanning tree. And see, it will be very clear if you follow this one example. So after listening to the example, so it will be very, algorithm will be very, very easy. The first thing here is, so this is the graph given. So what is the graph given here? So the graph, it is very clear on the screen. So now we have to find the spanning tree using DFSA, depth first search algorithm. So in the algorithm, the first thing which we have to make is we have to select one among these uh, vertices of the graph as a root vertex. I am selecting A as a root vertex. See clear? So after selecting, we have to push it into the stack. See here. I am just keeping in the stack, pushing in the stack. So this is nothing but the stack. And next Second point is we have to search all the adjacent unvisited vertices. So here there are adjacent vertices as B and C. One is left and one is right. So I am selecting this left child. Just I am visiting and marking as visited. And just I am throwing, pushing into the stack. Clear? And from B, I have to again visit the unvisited vertices. So for B, there are two children. So I am choosing this left child and I am marking it as visited and just I am pushing into stand. Clear? And from D, I have no options, only single child. So I have to visit this H and after visiting it, I have marked it as a visited and just push into stand. So from H, so is there any way to go deep into the graph? As it is depth first to the child algorithm, there is no way. If there is no way to go anywhere, just pop it and take backtracking. So how we have to take a backtrack? We have to select the next top element in the stack. That is D. Take backtracking. So D, I have to go to D. So from D also, there is no way to go anywhere. So D, ha D is a only per child there is no adjacent uh, vertices for d only single vertex is there it is already visited now there is no scope here just pop this d if there is no way to go pop it if there is way to go just push it into stack so simple thing the next top element here is b so i have to take a backtrack after popping we have to take a backtrack i'm going to B. So B has two children. One is left child and one is right child. So left child is visited. Now I am going to visit this right child E. If I visit any vertex, just mark it as visited and push it into stack. Simple. And after that, E has two children. That is I and J. Now I am selecting this left child. So if I visit this one, I have to mark it as visited. And after that, I have to push into the stack. See here, from I, is there any way to go? So they, it is a leaf and there is no way to go anywhere. Then just pop it. So if there is no way to go, pop it. 
and go to the next top element in the stack that is E. Now I am taking after popping we have to take a backtrack to where to go to the top element in the stack that is E. So I went to E and I am searching for unvisited edges and vertices. So this is unvisited. Now I will visit it. Second step. So I will just I'll mark it as a visited and I will push into stack. Clear? I will push it into stack. After J there is no way to go anywhere deep into the graph. Therefore I have to pop it. So just after popping if there is no way pop it and go to the next top element that is E. So after popping we have to take a backtrack E. From E also there is no way to go as all are visited. All the adjacent vertices are visited. Just pop it. If there is no way pop it and go to the top element that is B. So I am taking a backtrack to B. So there are three adjacent vertices and all are visited. Just pop it and take the backtracking to A. So here I have to go to A. So A has two children. One is left and one is right. So left it is visited and now I am going to visit this right child that is C. So if I visit any child, just push it into stack. Push it into stack. And next one from C, there are two children here left child and right child there are two edges and unvisited vertices now i'm going to visit this left child that is f if i visit just push into stack clear and after f there is uh, no way to go anywhere if there is no way or no route to go anywhere deep into the graph just pop it pop and take backtracking to where to go to the next top element in the stack that is C. So take backtracking to C. So C has two children. That is one is F and one is G. Left child is visited. And now I am going to visit this right child. So I have to visit this right child. If I visit any right child. Mark it as visited and push it into stack. And from G there is only one uh, vertex which is not visited. Now I am going to visit this K. And if I visit any vertex, just push it into stack. And from K, there is no root. So just if there is no root to go deep into the graph, just pop it and take backtracking. So from where to go? From the top element of the stack, that is G. I am going to G and I am searching any adjacent unvisited vertex. No, there is no. So there are only two adjacent vertices which are visited. Just pop and take backtracking to C. So just I am going to see and searching whether there are any unvisited uh, vertices. No, there are no vertices. So even A is occupied, F is uh, visited and G is occupied. Just pop it and next go to the top element that is A. So just I am going to A and see there are only two adjacent vis uh, vertices which are visited and therefore pop it. So this is how the stack become empty. So now it is the time we have to write all these from the top to bottom. That is A, this is B, this is D, H, E, I, J, C, F, G, K. So this is how we are um, constructing a spanning tree using DFSA. So the spanning tree is obtained. So you know what is a spanning tree. So all the vertices should be maintained in this um, graph spanning tree. And of, out of all these, so if there are n vertices, so should they, it should maintain n minus 1 edges. And the next thing is it should not maintain any loops or graphs or, or circuits or cycles. And therefore it will be a spanning tree. So all the properties are very clear here. So hope you all guys understand. So this is my uh, topic today. And I will be posting how to construct the minimum uh, spanning tree using Krishkal's algorithm and Prism's algorithm in my upcoming videos. Have a look at those. Please prepare. If you really like, pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much for staying till the end.